We're talking to Frank Kievsky, a man from Warren, Michigan, who's hunted deer all his life. What's your lifetime total? One deer. One? Yeah, but this isn't a half bad one. Look at this up here. We got one, two, three, four, five, ten point buck. Right. That's great. Where right. you where do you hunt normally? Uh, Higgins Lake, around Higgins Lake, about that, a couple miles out of Higgins that's Lake. That's where you got this one? That's where I got this one. Now, what have you been doing the past 14 years? I want to know. What's gone wrong? Just missing. <laughs> <laughs> You've been missing? You've been Just, seeing him, though? Yeah. yeah. I've been seeing him. And this year, tell me the story. Where was this buck? This buck was about 60 yards from me, and I knocked him over. Was he in the hardwoods or down hard in the swamp? Woods. Hardwoods. In the that's, hardwoods. That's where you hunt up in the, up there. Was he following a doe or anything? No, he was by himself. What time was it? 9.30 this morning. And everybody in the woods knew it. Oh, yeah? yeah. Why is that? I screamed like a scalded dog. <laughs> Did you? Yeah. Well, the big question is, if you don't get your deer opening day, are your chances shot? No. You don't last, think so? No. Last year we got uh, four after opening day. That's. I got a picture right here. You want to tell me about this picture? Oh, uh, I have to look at it, refresh my memory, I'm getting old. Yeah, that's about right. We only got one the first day, and then we started filling in. I'm the fat guy on the end with the blue, <laughs> see the pot belly? And yeah. That's me. And hey, what's your name? <laughs> Stu White from St. Clair Shores. Okay, Stu. Well, that's, that's a pretty good lineup, and you got four on the second day. Do you normally do better after opening day? No, it's about even, usually. Uh, last year was a fluke, maybe. Okay, the moral of the story is to you hunters out there who haven't got your deer opening day, or maybe even the second day, keep on pushing. That's right. Uh, how many you got here now? 22. Uh, look at These are the small ones down here, I think, from the looks of it. But here we got some of the bigger ones. We got some 10 points. Uh, well, here's a little spike here, but some nice 10 point bucks. What's the biggest one you got? Uh, the biggest one, we got three or four 10 points. Uh, the biggest one in weight. Of course, we don't go by weight, but it weighed 180 pounds. Let's go down and look at this one here. This is a deer. I'll tell you, if this was a young deer, we'd have some good eating. Oh, you bet. That'd make good mm -hmm. stew. That's 180? 180 pounds, dressed out. Okay, well, the, the hunters that come in here and bring their bucks, you take their pictures and post we them? We take the their store? pictures and post them, then we send each hunter a picture when it's all over with. Well, that's super. Mm -hmm. That really, You know, it's really fun for these hunters here to come down and look at the deer that have been taken. Yeah, we started the bowl in 77, and we've hung 202 deer starting today. Oh, that's great. So people can come up during the summer, come in your hardware store here and see what's been taken. See their picture day. anytime, yeah. Well, that's super. Well, you know, we have a lot of hunters here. Where's Zach? Zach, come in here. I want to explain something. There's a lot of people watching this on opening day, but you know, we've got a lot of reports of evidently hunters who couldn't be here with us. And uh, I want to sort of extend the sympathy to the people who have evidently called in sick to factories and to schools. Zach, I know you were sick yesterday. You were so sick that I pulled you out of school, and I didn't want to come up here hunting and leave you at home. So I brought you along. You feeling better now? Yeah. Well, that's good. And I hope that the rest of you folks out there who did have to call in sick and couldn't make it up here deer hunting are going to feel better by the end of the week, get back on the job, and maybe they can get hunting this weekend. Maybe. We look for a good crowd. <laughs> okay, that buck fever is...